Hello, Carol Tiller Carney here at Halloween Arts, and I am with the magnificent Mike Gianella, and he's going to tell us about this beautiful painting. So this uh, is an acoustic, an acoustic piece. Um, it is uh, made out of uh, wax and pigment. Um, and uh, the cool thing about how I paint is um, a lot of people aren't familiar with acoustic, so it's uh, beeswax, uh, resin, um, and I'm painting with hot tools, so uh, with a blowtorch and hot iron uh, to make the piece. The piece is entitled We All Bleed Red. Um, I really wanted to create um, a painting that spoke to diversity and inclusion. Um, and basically, at the end of the day, we are all human. We all bleed red. Um, and uh, I wanted to speak to a, a place of unity, um, especially in a world today where uh, there's a lot of, um, uh, you know, fighting. And yeah, yeah a lot of divisiveness. Yes. And, and so, exclusion. Yeah. And so, you know, to me, it's very important to get above that. And um, and I wanted to, to make a painting that, that spoke to that. Well, one of the things I really appreciate th about this painting has to do with the color, because you've included the colors of every nation's flag on there. And we also, I looked at it and I thought, oh, the Olympics. It reminded uh -huh. me of, you know, how they, the colors that they choose for the Olympics. So that is a way of showing the range of everyone in the world. Right. So uh, can, you, can you say a little bit more about the, your color choice? Sure. Um, you know, I, I did, you, you, you got that pretty well in that every color uh, is suggesting a different nationality or a different type of person. Um, you know, I wanted to make it uh, so that every color uh, spoke to a, a different sort of um, person in, in the world. And so um, uh, blue, um, you know, more, uh, you know, the United Kingdom, USA, uh, reds, and, um, you know, going towards uh, different cultures uh, in the, uh, the uh, East. Um, and so um, it's just a sort of mixture of, of different colors that I like to incorporate, um, again, sort of suggesting a, a unified uh, image. Well, and also, um, the, I can't, can't help but see, like, the rainbow flag for mm -hmm. LGBTQ, mm -hmm. and um, the way that you're uniting the colors that they come together in this is, is very nice. Um, and there's such the way that you've layered them so that the blue stands as strong as the pink that is popping forward right. is very nice. Thank you. Yeah, um, you know, it's not just um, a, a different nationality that I'm speaking towards. It is also LGBTQ and, you know, different people, different, you know, we're, we're all different. We uh, Infinite diversity and infinite combinations. Yes. Right? And so um, I'm just speaking, hopefully, that anyone looks at this can can see themselves somewhere in that painting. Yeah, yeah, and, and um, you also have you can see from it that it has this dark background that these colors are coming from. So it, it's like it's a light source in and of itself, which mm -hmm. I really appreciate, as well as none of the characteristics, facial characteristics, say a particular person. They seem to go in and form. On um, everyone, we all have lips. We all have nose. Yeah. We all have eyes. Yeah, these are obviously the uh, um, you know features that speak towards uh, you know eyes and nose and, and mouth. I didn't put ears in this, but uh, you know everyone has those. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so it, it just uh, draws everyone into that. But um, I painted it very abstractly. Um, I, if that's a word, <laughs> <laughs> um, but. Um, you know, with uh, encaustic, um, you know, and for this, you know, I use basically a, a brush for most of this. And then the eye um, and the mouth and the nose actually started out as a underpainting. Uh, I was going to I was going to ask you that, like, how do you because your your medium is opaque, like um, whereas a lot of times when you're working with paint, like any type of paint, I'm learning to paint. Um, <laughs> you're doing opaque and transparent and things like that. Whereas every color you choose is opaque. 
How do you think about the layering process when you're putting this together? Um, so you're correct, and like a lot of these colors are definitely opaque, but um, encaustic actually has uh, translucency uh, as well yeah. in it. Uh, but for this particular uh, uh, paint uh, painting, uh, it is very opaque. Yeah. And so I did start with a, a basic drawing. I, I kind of knew that I wanted to go towards a, an abstracted face. Yeah. I've been kind of doing a series of faces mm -hmm. um, recently, and so. Um, it started with uh, just uh, some suggestion of where the eye and nose and mouth would be. And then from there, just adding layers upon layers of uh, just clear medium, clear wax. Yeah. Um, you know, you can still see the, the underpainting. Yeah, we have another artist who uses, uh, who does encaustic, who that's primarily, she primarily uses the clear yeah. medium. Well, I also appreciate this whole idea of it almost being a mask because that also is another way it speaks universally, as well as, hey, you like Mardi Gras? Come see. <laughs> <laughs> um, because we are all united in party. Yes. <laughs> or we should be. We should be. Um, so I was also lo looking at, at this, and you talk, just spoke a little bit about construction that you have a drawing that you start with, mm -hmm. and then from the drawing, you start to apply your paints. And then um, after the paints selections, do you have a, a stage at which you might do a change up of something, or do you just go from one piece to the next? Piece? Yeah, if you're. Yeah, so um, there's many layers of wax underneath this. I think probably, you know, over 20, just to give you a, a mm -hmm. for instance. Um, and so, if I don't like something throughout the whole process, I'm kind of manipulating it um, throughout mm -hmm. until I get something that speaks to me. Yeah. Um, so um, there's also something about it too. Um, I don't know how well this will come off on the camera. You have to definitely come in and see this. And I especially because it's so dimensional. Yeah. Please. You know, to feel actually, the surface is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And uh, and. So when, do you think about the surface texture as you're doing this? I do. Um, and, you know, I always say when somebody uh, is here, I said, please feel it. Because um, th there's just a lot of texture and, and uniqueness into it. Um, so texture is a very important element, I find, with yeah. the plastic. Um, this one's actually fairly flat, um, but some of my other paintings have, you know, more uh, substance. Yeah, the uh, the second piece that you have in the jury yeah. show, uh, which will include a little flash of right here, has uh, more depth than like a lot of texture. This has a lot of texture, but that one's super textury. Yeah. Well, on your scale, it's right. not super, but yeah. compared to like more flat works, it's... Yeah, absolutely. Um, for tactile people, it's for you. And then, so for the eye, I um, I actually spend a lot of time with a, a stylus, which is basically think of a wood burning tool, mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of for my detail because you can't really. I find it very difficult to get very detailed with encaustic, just yeah. because it's hot wax and you know you're using blow torches and hot tools for your brushes, basically. Yeah. Um, so, but with the stylus, I'm able to um, get some some level of detail. Yeah. Then, and you're saying that, and I'm sitting there thinking, boy, painting with pyro must be fun. It is. So, it's yeah. very exciting. Thank you, pyros. Yes, definitely <laughs> pyro. Uh, and, you know, but, uh, yeah, uh, the the way that you manipulate it with the flame, and you're not, like, doing full, like, force with the flame. It's very subtle um, because, you know, if you if you put that uh, flame to... Like, it's like melting, level, it's like melting ice. Yeah, you yeah. just see, like, a little bit of uh, uh, a wetness, you know, as, as, it, as it melts. And, you know, you have to be very careful with it, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a great experience. I love it. So, well, this piece is beautiful, and we're so glad it's in the... The jury show. Thank you. Which um, you're going to have to tell me the dates. Everyone, please come see Mike's great work at the jury show, which runs from March 23rd through May 14th. Thank you so much for doing this. Thanks, Thank Mike. You. You're great.